Hey, what's up guys, it's Ben Bonk, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make a gun flip and gun kind of rotation system. So, pretty much what I'm gonna be showing you how to do is pretty much, um, as you can see, I have my gun which uh, points towards my uh, player right here. And then once I go over, right over here, it actually flips the gun. And uh, yeah, it's super simple, but it took me a really long time to figure out and debug because I've been a ton of problems with it. So. Share, uh, I'll show you guys my solution right now and let's get right into it. Okay, so now I'm inside of my weapon script or whatever you want to rotate using this kind of method. And to get my mouse, uh, my uh, weapon actually rotating towards my mouse, I'm using this tutorial by Blackthorn Prod. If you want to check it out, uh, I will try to leave it somewhere in the description if I actually remember. But uh, yeah, here's like the main code where it pretty much just gets the um, mouse position and it just rotates um, the weapon pretty much wherever the mouse is right now. So I'm gonna be using that. There's also probably some workarounds uh, to this using like transform.eulerangles.z, but I'll show you guys how to do that right now. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a, let's say private, uh, we need a sprite renderer. And to flip this actual gun, we're not gonna be using setting this x scale to negative one something like that we're actually going to be using sprite render dot flip x which is actually a much um easier way and i'll just call this sprite render for now and then to start we can just use git component um, sprite render to actually get this component and so now in our start what we're going to need to do in our update function which there might be a better way to do this but update works just for now is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check. So what I'm using to store my rotation Z, you might have something else. I'm using this uh, float called rot Z. And if the, you don't have a float like that, or you're doing it some other kind of way, you could probably use transform.eulerangles.z and just try to figure out something from there. Um, maybe you tweak around the values, but yeah. To actually flip the gun, what we are going to do is we are going to say, if my rotation Z is less than 89 and our rotation Z is greater than negative 89 and uh, before um, before I show you guys I'm gonna show you like what this actually means so as you can see we want to be less than 89 and um, so when I click play here you'll see that when I'm right up um, here if you look uh, look right at the Z value right here you can see this is 90 right here and then this is negative 90 so we pretty much want to say when we're on like when we're around here which is pretty much facing the right what we're going to do so we're going to go into our script and we're going to say our uh, let's just debug i mean we can just uh, just make this clear if you want to do anything else you can just debug dot log and just say facing right or something like that and then we want to get our sprite renderer um not that sprite renderer but the one we made a variable for i want to say dot flip y equals false and we're not going to flip this y because we're uh, this is when we're facing right and then we're going to make an else so none of that's true what we are going to do is we can just do the same debug dot log statement uh, facing left is equal to true and we want to copy this and we want to flip y equals true and so what that's going to do is it's going to pretty much make our um, uh, we're going to say well, pretty much when we're on this side um, oops I must have not set my um, Sprite render to a reference. Oh yeah, that's my bad. Um, sprite renderer um, equals. Uh, let's see. What I call it sprite render. Um, it's equal to uh, yeah, my bad. But uh, yeah, make sure you assign that, or you can also just make it a public um, if you want to make that. Um, if you want to drag it in manually, so you can see. Uh, in our debug statements, it says we are facing right, and when we go over here, it says we are facing left. And as you can see, right when we cross this point, our gun is going to flip on the Y. You can also see, um, look right here, 
on the sprite render to actually see it doing the action. So we're going to Y, now we're not. And you can see our debugs work correctly. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all we have to do. Again, if you do not have a rotation Z, what I would recommend doing is um, doing something like transform dot uh, Euler angles and transform dot Euler angles. Uh, make sure that's dot Z. So it's a float. And then I would recommend these values are probably not going to be. They're probably going to be a little fishy. Um, we see it flips there on the on the bottom. It kind of messes up a little bit. So if you're using, if you don't have a function like that, which I'm hoping you do, you can also just fiddle around with these values in your transform um, Euler angles and probably get something to work eventually. But um, yeah, that's pretty much um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, this is very simple. Um, I hope it works for you guys. If you did, uh, let me know in the description and yeah, give me some video ideas maybe for the next video. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.